Welcome to the Firearm Patriot channel. This is the second video in a series of three on how to improve the Smith & Wesson Shield. As you know, the Smith & Wesson Shield is a single stack magazine which really limits the capacity. In the base magazine, we're looking at seven rounds with one in the chamber for a total of eight. They also come with an extended magazine that's an eight round magazine, so with one in the chamber, we're looking at a total of nine. That's really not a lot of capacity in comparison to some of the other guns that are double stacked on the market. Uh, so what we're gonna to do today is look at how to increase that capacity. Now, one of the ways that we can do that is with a product called Mag Guts. And that basically, that product will extend the uh, base plate magazine by one. It runs around $22.95. And then we also have an extension for the extended magazine, which will increase that capacity from eight all the way up to 10, giving the shield the same capacity as a Glock 26. Now that costs $32.95, and it does extend the uh, magazine slightly by about a fourth of an inch over the standard extended magazine. Let's go ahead and install these mag guts into the shield magazines. Okay, the first thing we want to talk about is safety, of course. We want to make sure that everybody has safety glasses on before they start this procedure. Uh, it's just you're working with compressed springs and they can pop out and they could, uh, it could result in an injury. So we're going to start out with the flush magazine for the shield. It's the seven round magazine and we're going to use this mag gut product to increase the capacity to eight instead of seven. Now we're going to put a link to mag gut's website in the description of this video so if you want to go there and check them out. We'll also put a link uh, to the other shield improvement videos that we've done as well in the description of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. All you really need is a ballpoint pen. It's very simple to break down the magazine. You should do it periodically uh, just to clean them and make sure you do proper maintenance on them, make sure they function correctly. But we have the base plate down here, which is polymer, and we also have a polymer locking plate that you can't see underneath there, which is compressed down by the spring. Now this is a extension on the lock plate that comes out and goes into the base plate that holds everything in place. So all we're going to do is we're going to uh, push down on that and then we're going to move this base plate forward. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and just there's grooves in here and it just slides off the magazine. So we're going to just pull it right off. There you have it. And we're going to use that for the install of the mag gut product as well. So let's just go ahead and slide that spring out. We just cup it with our hand there and pull it on out. As you can see, it's a round, kind of a cold spring. And uh, we're gonna replace it with the mag gut steel accordion spring. Go ahead and take the follower out. It's a polymer follower. We're gonna replace that as well with a steel follower. The lock plate too is gonna to be replaced with a metal lock plate. So I think they are upgrades. I've used this product before and it's worked well for me. So we're gonna go ahead and move this uh, items that we're not gonna use to the side and pull out the products that we get here with the mag guts. And so here's a steel accordion flat spring, and that's basically how you're gonna get another round into that magazine without increasing uh, the size of the magazine along with the shape of the follower. Now we do have a uh, follower here, as you can see, it's cut out right there, the middle part that's gonna come up, catch the slide stop, and lock the slide back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the magazine, this is the bottom of the magazine, and the follower portion that's going to lock the slide back is always going to go toward the tapered end. So we're going to slide in there just like that. Now the spring, the tip of the spring is going to go to the back of the follower. You're just going to push that up there. You can see how it fits. There's compression there. Now we're going to take the steel lock plate, and as you can see it has a little lip on it, and that lip's got to go behind the magazine right here, the base of the magazine. So we're gonna go ahead and push that accordion spring in there, okay? We're gonna push that down. Make sure you can kinda of see how that lip's gonna go back there on that. We're gonna take this stock base face plate, again, we're under pressure here with a little bit of spring. We're just gonna slide it back exactly the way it came off. Push it down, you hear it lock in place. It locked in place and that's all there is to it. Now the magazine's assembled, so let's go ahead and make sure we can get eight rounds in it. 
I don't have enough dummy rounds, so we're going to do this with live rounds, but we don't have the gun here on the table. So let's do it real quick. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And we got to get the one more round in there for the extension. Eight. And there you have it. Now you have a eight round magazine that fits into the shield instead of a uh, seven round magazine. So let's go ahead and install the mag guts into the extended magazine now. Okay, we're going to do the exact same process with the extended mag. We are going to take this sleeve off just to make it a little bit easier. Set that to the side uh, and remove the base plate just like we did. We're going to again compress the lock plate uh, tab there and push that, push that base plate forward. Slide that off. Again, we've got the spring cupped in our hand. We're pulling that out. We're going to drop that polymer follower. We're not going to use that anymore. We're not going to use the base plate. We're not going to use the spring. And in this particular application, we're not going to use uh, the base plate. So we're going to put those over to the side. And we're going to pull out what comes in the mag guts. Again, this is the plus two extension. The conversion, as they call it. What you get here is, again, you get another metal follower, very similar to the one you saw. You get an accordion flat spring. Again, that helps get the extension and the uh, rounds in there, uh, addition to what comes stock. And you're going to get, a, again, a locking plate that is metal. And in this particular case, you're going to get a new base plate. Now, this base plate is going to be a little bit longer than the stock extended base plate. Uh, maybe it's about a fourth of an inch. I think I measured it. Uh, the stock is 4.79 inches uh, as far as the grip goes with the uh, mag guts extensions inserted in there. It's 5.04. So about a quarter of an inch you're looking at extension wise. So let's go ahead. Again, the portion where the follower comes up, catches the slide, is always going to go forward to the tapered end. Again, the spring is going to go to the back. We're just going to slide that up there, get that in place. You can see that. Now, in this particular case, again, we're going to have the same deal with the lock plate. It is going to fit on the back. This portion is going to come right there and fit like that over top of it because it's going to be centered up. Let's get this kind of over here where we can get to it a little bit easier. We're going to push that in there, push that down. You can see here how we have that in the back there, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the space plate, and it does have grooves cut out in it, and we're going to slide it on. Oh, and should we get that in there good? Okay, now you got to let, as you're doing it, you kind of let the lock plate come up to the bottom here, okay? You can kind of see it coming up, I think, there, hopefully. And just keep sliding it back. And as you slide it back, it's going to fit right in the hole right there. Okay. There you go. Okay. Locked in place. You can see how that lip comes over the back of the magazine, and everything is good. So let's go ahead and see if we can get 10 rounds instead of 8 rounds in the magazine. Again, we're going to use live rounds. Don't have enough dummy rounds to do this, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, there's five. Put five more in it, hopefully. I've done this several times. The first time you do it, it can be hard to get that tenth round in there. Uh, but once it goes in, everything kind of lines up. The first time, you don't have any issues the second time. So this is the tenth round. Sometimes I actually use a, uh, a loading tool to put that first round, that tenth round in there. You can hear it pop right there. Okay, now we've got ten rounds in there. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to go out to the range and make sure they function properly. You should never just put something together, put in your gun and, and carry it. You need to make sure it functions properly and that's what we're going to do. So let's go on out to the range. 
Okay guys, we're here on the range with the shield. We're gonna test the uh, mag gut inserts in the magazines for the shield. Gonna go ahead and do the flush magazine first. Uh, again, stock, it's uh, seven rounds with the mag guts, it's eight. Then we're gonna just go ahead and turn around and do the extended mag. It's stock eight, but with the mag guts in, it's 10 rounds you get. So what we're gonna be looking for is make sure it feeds properly and also that locks the slide back on the last round. Uh, again, there's nothing in the chamber here. We got the slide lock back so you can hear the rounds to let you know that there are eight rounds in the magazine and then 10 rounds in the extended magazine. So Eight rounds, uh, lock back, no problem. Let's go ahead and we'll drop that mag out. Put the extended one in. Put 10 rounds on target with the extended mag gut round. There you have it, uh, 10 rounds out of the extended version. So. Certainly a reliable product, and if you're looking to increase the round count of your carry pistol, the Mag Guts is a good way to do that, I think. And so check the link to the website out in the description of the video. And with that being said, this is the Firearm Patriot. Till next time, God bless America.